Hello, it's Matty coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome to Five Flags Amusement Park, created by Coaster Freak 90 Now, just as we are doing these opening panning shots, you may be wondering to yourself, I recognise that Matty, I'm sure I've seen that somewhere before, and you would be right. He's actually used the car park and a bit of the outside area from Eden Gardens. Now, of course, he did ask me if that was okay, and I said that's absolutely fine. And reading the description is like, a it's, it's massive. There's so much information. So just to summarise, it's just saying it's five flags, it's got nine coasters, five flat rides, and just thanking some of the people where items came from the workshop, because there are quite a few workshop items. But without further ado... Let's just hop in and have a look at the park, shall we? Right, so we've just come out of the entrance tunnel and we're just coming to the roundabout here. Now, we won't go for a big look around down by the church and over at the car park because that just seems a little bit vain. It's, it's all my stuff um, that he'd used. Now, just before we get into the park, I do know that Greg... Oh, by the way, his name is Greg. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, Greg, who's extremely active in the Planco Facebook groups as well, you will probably recognise him. Greg Lind, he's always asking questions and ask, and offering advice for people and showing off his creations. He's really active within the community. Um, but I know that Greg really wanted me to read the full description. I apologise that I couldn't do that. Again, I just couldn't be that vain because he was saying like kind of how amazing I was for letting him use the park and how nice I was and I, I literally couldn't read it. I'm sorry. I, I, I wasn't that vain to read it myself. <laughs> so I hope you forgive me for that. But um, the fact that you, you approached me and asked if it was okay if you could use Eden Gardens as a source of inspiration for you, that, that really did mean a lot to me. Thank you ever so much. And, and thank you for all your kind words and, and being such a big supporter of the channel and everything. So, yeah, it really does mean a lot, Greg. So thank you ever so much for that. But as we come past the roundabout and we come up to the entrance here, so this is where Eden Gardens ends and this is where Five Flags begins. So just got these toilets. Are they toilets both sides? Yeah, toilets just on both sides there I, I would have been tempted though greg just to maybe just hide this maybe just have some roof tile pieces turn off the curb i would have been very tempted to do that i think um and just like maybe just have a couple more entrances as well because they do bottleneck a little bit just in there especially like kind of when you very first open the park now i know that uh maps fam did the sign for you the five flag sign so yeah great sign with that and then the security uh bit was done by m and j games so michael uh, did that bit so um, i will try and remember what workshop items were used and then obviously credit them as well oh or was it the turnstiles that were michael and jasmine and somebody else did the security i i can't remember i can't remember but anyway let's hop through so this is going to be one of them type of spotlights. You know sometimes we get the spotlights where predominantly we're just walking around and looking at things and then we might just have a couple of rides to go on and then other spotlights it will just be ride, 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 ride. This park is going to be one of the latter. There's a lot of coasters to go on so we're going to have some fun today just going around all the coasters. Now Greg with you being such a big fan of mine I'm a little bit disappointed that you haven't used more paint tool. I'm not going to lie. You know how much I love my paint tool. But what foliage work you have done in here is really good. I like, obviously, a lot of the foliage on the outside is what I've done. But then on the inside, you've done a lot of your own foliage. So I really like what you've done inside. I would have just liked to have seen more paint tool used around it as well. Because you know what I'm like with my paint tool. I do love a bit of paint tool and a, and a couple of little water features, me. So, just in case anyone didn't know. <laughs> right, so we've got our first ride. So let's have a look down this queue path, shall we? Yeah, I think with some paint tool just either side as well and around the trees and around the bushes, I think it would have made the queue lines a little bit more dynamic as well. So, right, let's hop up here. We're just going to skip up this bit. 
and we come to our first ride. Now, one thing that I did notice, Greg, as we went around the park, is your stations. Every single station is different. They're all simple and effective, but done really well. So, yeah, great work with that. And this is actually, by the way, the second park that I've done by Greg on the channel. The first park was... I cannot remember what it was called for the life of me. So I will have a look at what park it was as we go for a ride on this. So let's have a look. What's this one called? So we have the Iron Giant. And the stats green across the board. Very nice. 7.05. G-forces are slightly high. 7.25 G. So the G-forces may potentially need looking at. But without further ado, let's go for a ride on this. And enjoy, everybody. So there we have our first ride of the park, Iron Giant. Now, let's just be honest for a second. When I do spotlights and when I enter parks sometimes, if I know that I've got loads and loads of rides to go on, sometimes it can be a little bit daunting and I, I, I almost come into them a bit apprehensively because I'm like, how can you make so many coasters and make them all unique and good and everything now this ride here i'm not gonna lie to you greg it surprised me at just how good that was that was absolutely fantastic one of the smoothest rides i think i've been on in a spotlight it was so smooth you must have spent so much time going through that ride and just smoothing it all out. And it kept up a great speed. And the fact that it's green across the board, despite the fact that it takes a week to get up the first lift hill, yeah, absolutely brilliant. I'm not sure where the Gs are coming from on that ride, if I'm, if I'm honest. And I don't even care to look because I think it was really good. I think it felt very realistic. I loved the extended brake run. I am a big fan of that when you have the big extended brake runs and it comes into the station at a nice speed. Yeah, I think that was absolutely brilliant and a great first ride to go on. And if the rest of the rides in this park are of that kind of quality, then we may be on for some of the best rides I've been on in a spotlight. So let's carry on, shall we? Yeah. Great job with that. Really enjoyed it. So we've got the Ghostbusters blueprint just here. The staff room just there. That's a nice car park over there. I wonder who did that. That's a really nice car park. Huh. Anybody who wants to see that, go and watch Eden Gardens. So we've got a block of toilets just there. I do really like your use of the foliage and the rock work and things like that. It did lose a little bit of its elevation in the park. You did kind of like level it all out a lot. 
I think the only thing that I am like kind of noticing so far is just the fact that the curbs are on and the lack of paint tool. I think that's about it. Must walked into that pole. You know, like when you're a kid and you're with your mum and dad, or maybe not even a kid, maybe you're an adult and do it, and you're that busy looking at something, and you're like, duh, 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 and you walk into one of the poles, and that's what I just did. So, yeah. right, let's have a quick zoom out a second. Which way shall we go? Is this just a exit for right? Yes, it is. Right, so that's just an exit. So we won't walk down there. Yeah, I think just just remove the curb. I, I'm not a fan of the curbs in game. I'm not gonna lie, I, I just don't like them. I think they look quite unsightly. I've seen the odd one or two parks where it's been pulled off, but not many. Um, I think the best parks are the ones that do have the curbs removed. So, so we've got this Ferris wheel here. I love your custom queue line with this fence. Really nice use of uh, choice of colours as well. Red, black and white. Yeah, great choice of colours. Really fits the the colouring of the ride as well. Alright, and we're coming to our second coaster. So, let's have a walk up the queue path. I must admit, the queue lines are quite similar. Um, you've done the queue lines in quite a similar manner. Like, kind of how they start at the ground and then you like kind of build them up like this. But, never mind. And let's come into this station here. Oh, I like this station. It feels quite futuristic. Let's just have a look at it on the outside. It, it may be a little bit boxy. Maybe. But still a nice station inside. I, I like the simpleness of it. I like how basic it is. It kind of just fits. Right, so second ride. What's this one called? It's where we have Batwing. Cool name. It's not quite green across the board, but the G-forces on this one, some really good G-forces. So, second ride, let's do it. So, there we have Batwing. Greg, you really excel at building coasters. Once again, super smooth. These are among some of the smoothest rides I've done in Spotlights. Fantastic, once again. I, I haven't really got much to add it was just a great ride really well done really well thought out um I've, I've made it no secret in the past that i'm not a huge fan of parks with coaster 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 i like the less is more kind of thing i i like to see maybe just a couple of coasters and really well themed more detail sacrifice rides to go more detail but this park because the rides, I mean, the two that we've been on so far are so good. Yeah, I'm more than happy to just keep going on rides because they're such a good quality. There, I really like some of the barrel rolls that you've got in there and the zero G rolls. There was one inversion in particular that I really liked. Was it just up here? Yeah, this one here. Where was where about this coaster? It's just coming now. This inversion was fantastic. And it looks all custom as well. Yeah, lovely inversion there. Really nicely done. And there as well, look. Just fantastic. Yeah, 
great coaster building. And I love the fact as well that the brake run it runs parallel to the car park as well. I mean, this is a beautiful car park. I, I tip my hat to the creator. That guy's a genius. But um, yeah, I just love how it comes parallel to the car park just there. The the only thing that I would say, now obviously as I've just filmed that POV, I ended it as it was sat there, because the coaster does actually sit there for about 20 seconds before it then comes around into the station, so I would be very tempted to just reduce it and just put the one car only, because you would be shocked at just how much just sitting there for about 20 seconds would bring them stats down, and it might even be green across the board when you just put it to one car especially given the fact as well of how many rides there are in the park the the queue line isn't that busy so just having the one car i don't think would matter because it just fill that queue line up a little bit more as well so yeah i would i would definitely reduce that to the one so we have a thrill zone so let's have a walk down here shall we so we've got this drop tower just to our left one thing i would be tempted to do is I would be tempted to remove some of these lampposts. I think they're too too many, if I'm honest. It seems a little bit overwhelming as you look down the path. And nothing to do with the fact that I've already walked into about three of them. And I think I broke my nose twice just walking into them. But yeah, it just seems like the path is a little bit cluttered. Because there's so many lights in the middle. Maybe that's just me. And what else have we got down here? So we've got another flat ride there. We've got an Enterprise just there. Of course, Eden Gardens had an Enterprise in as well. It was uh, Sawmill, the one that was kind of like semi-underground. And then you got another flat ride here. Yeah, really nice little area just around here. Yeah, I really like that. So, I, I, I don't know if this is just me, but it does kind of like almost feel like it has a little bit of the spirit of Eden Gardens. Maybe that's just because the car park's over there. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Can you kind of like see it as well? Mm. So we've got the another Ghostbusters piece just over here. And then we've got the Ghostbusters staff room once again. Got a pip shop. Some water and juice just there. Oh, I like this. That looks like a very Michael from M&J games kind of thing certainly from some of his earlier parks that does very much look like a michael thing to do and it's a great effect as well just thinking of that safety as well and realism yeah really nice job we've got a uh, teacups over here is there anybody on it there are people coming on the teacups well wonders never cease i never thought i'd see the day oh, there, is there anybody else in the queue no no no, you are literally the only people in like 4,000 that want to go on the teacups. It, it doesn't make sense. I don't I don't understand why the teacups are like programmed like that in the game. Because you'd think that all the flat rides would have kind of like similar queue times. I get obviously like kind of that there's um, the family ones, there's the gentle flat rides, there's the extreme flat rides. So I get that the extreme ones may be a little bit busier. But you've got like a multitude of gentle flat rides and some of them get really busy but the teacups is just not one of them just nobody ever goes on it and and in real life teacups are generally quite a popular ride i mean certainly going from alton towers it the teacups are like really popular there i don't know it's weird but anyway we have another coaster here i like the color scheme I like the yellow that you've got going on here so what's uh, what's this ride called then serpent but it, it's not a snake it's a dragon that doesn't look like a snake <laughs> i'm only joking let's have a look at the stats i'm not green across the board but you wouldn't expect it to be with with being a kiddie ride and the results again same with the g-forces you wouldn't expect them to have high g-forces so let's go for a ride on this enjoy everyone
so there we have serpent that's not a serpent but a dragon yeah i mean there's nothing really to say about it it was exactly what it needed to be for a ride of the genre i think it was really really good once again super smooth i like the fact that it did two laps some nice decoration around it with the rock work and the foliage work yeah i just think it was a great little ride and a really nice uh, ride of this type and um, these are some of my favorite rides I, I don't know why they're so simple and and normally quite generic quite similar in what you see but they are one of my favorite rides to go on in spotlights don't ask why i'm got a clue but anyway yeah great job so let's have a walk down here i'll have to make sure to have a look at this firework display at the end as well remind me to not forget it okay if you if you sat watching now the end, towards the end, say, Matty, don't forget the fireworks, okay? Trust you. All right, what's this? I've got a clue what this is. I'm trying to work out in relation to where this would be, where Eden Gardens would have been. Let me just quick have a quick zoom out. I think we're kind of like over where Toon Flumer would be. Oh, no. Where would that be? No, Toon Flumer would have been over there. So what would have been around? I think that would have just been like around where the back monorail station would have been. I think, give or take. Be about that. But... Right, I've just spoiled myself as well. I didn't know what this was, but I just saw it from an aerial shot. It's a car ride. It's a really nice station once again. Let's just have a imaginary go around, shall we? Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I really like this. Oh, wow. Okay, I love it. It goes over a water feature. Yeah, I love it. Oh, there's a waterfall there as well. Gets even better. Water feature. Yeah, really nice car ride. Yeah, great job. And again, nice little addition to the park as well. Just breaking up the coasters. Just a little bit. Right. So, what else have we got down here? So, again, just some more in-game blueprints, which is fine. Been really nicely integrated. And I think it's just the one last ride up here. So let's have a walk up here. So, Greg, in your next park, I'm setting you a challenge. I want to see less blueprints. Because I think you can do it. From the things that you've built in this park, some of them are really good. Some of them are really good builds. So, yeah, next park, I want to see less blueprints. Right. Um, we've got another coaster here, so not sure what this is. What is it? So, oh, boomerang. I, I, I guess it's a boomerang coaster. Not sure what, what makes me think that. Uh, it's not green across the board, but again, it doesn't matter. The G force is maybe slightly on the high side, but if the past rides have anything to go by, obviously that means nothing. So let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy.
so there we have boomerang now of course we've been on quite a few boomerang coasters this last year or so in all the spotlights and with boomerangs i tend to find them quite janky in general they seem to be quite a janky ride but it almost adds to the appeal that was certainly one of the smoother ones that i've been on so again without repeating myself too much yeah great job once again i think the only thing that i thought was the end is missing a bit it looks like they can just fall off the end it needs the other bit i assume this end's got one yeah it just needs that to go on the top because it just looks a little bit weird is all that kind of you've got to think of the chain mostly it just looks like the chain just kind of like falls off into nothingness and then starts going back down as well so it just needs the end bit just added on but yeah really nice job great boomerang coaster so i enjoyed that so let's hop over to the other side of the park i think when it comes to actual coasters and rides i think we're only about halfway through because there's so many other rides on the other half of the park so let's come down here and come back to the main entrance right here we are main entrance so for fireworks set time to 20 hundred duration for the show is one minute 30 seconds okay let's just have a look up here up up up, up, up we go enter in clip cam view we're close enough oh wow yeah i can see why you would say enter in clip cam view actually it's just for all the sight lines all these coasters so obviously this half of the park is where we are going to now and you can see just from here we've got a wooden coaster we've got uh one is that one of the ones that runs on the i was going to say on the track they all run on a track may um i can't remember what they're called i know what i mean even if nobody else does when we get there we'll see and i'll be like yeah that's what i meant and if it's not i'm just going to pretend that i didn't say anything so let's walk through here Yeah, it is what I meant. Like, one of them. That runs on a... Um, on that. I've got no idea what it's called. I haven't got a clue. But one of them. That I knew what I meant. Even if nobody else knew what I was talking about. I, I knew what I meant. And that's the most important thing. So. I'm not going to lie. This almost feels a little bit out of place. I think it's one of the in-game blueprints again. But it just feels a little bit out of place here. It's like almost Tunisian kind of theme. Arabian theme. And then you've got a bit of Western next to it. Yeah, they just seem to clash a little bit. It's all, I would say. Well, anyway, we'll come down here to the entrance to this ride. Now, I'm not a big fan of these rides. I'm not going to lie. So can you change my mind, is the question. So we've got a nice station. What's this one called? Uh, Railblazer. Some good names for the rides. 7.53 excitement. Wow. And the G-Force is also not bad either. So without further ado, let's go for a ride on this. Hopefully you can change my mind. Enjoy.
so there we have red blazer now did that convert me and i'm now a massive fan of these rides not really no <laughs> i still don't like them apologies um but for a ride of this type that i've been on in spotlights yeah i think it was really good one of the smoother ones that i've been on i like the fact that it goes in and out of the terrain so much it made me think of wasps nest a little bit maybe that was the inspiration behind that yeah some really nice moments of airtime as it went through certainly one of the smoother ones i've been on i'm just not a fan of this inversion here and I know that's one of the in-game ones as well. It, to me, it just doesn't feel that realistic. It feels too tight for it to be realistic. And I've always thought it. The, the in-game inversions that this ride gives you, to me, just don't feel realistic. It just feels like it throws you around too much. And the only other thing I would say is just extend your brake run a little bit. Because all the other rides in the park come into the station at such a nice speed, like really realistic. But this one does come in quite haphazardly and just come to a stop. Let's just watch it go through that inversion there. Yeah, even looking at it off board, to me that doesn't look realistic. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, just extend the brake run a little bit. But for me that was one of the, the, the weaker ones in the park, but that's just my own personal bias more than anything other people might think that's the best ride of the park so far but i'm just biased towards them rides i've never built one and chances are i probably won't build one if i'm honest is it called single rail coaster is that what it's, does it say what it's called on it is that what it's called oh a single rail basilisk there you go check out matty matty is actually learning real coasters go figure so yeah, as I've stated before, I know diddly squat about theme parks and about coasters. I don't, I don't know. I've got no idea why people watch so many of my spotlights because I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. I say banking and inversions and smoothing a lot and everyone's like, oh, he must know what he's talking about. Nope. Nope. Not a clue. Not an absolute foggiest. So, so this has just come to a dead end here, which is nice. That means we can't get lost. So let's have a look down this queue path here, shall we? So is this the wooden coaster, maybe? I know we've still got a wooden coaster to go on. I think there's about three more rides to go on, maybe? Potentially. Oh, I like this station. Now this is the best station of the park so far. Yeah, easily. Easily the best station of the park so far. Yeah, great job with this one really nicely detailed yeah that's fantastic right so what's this one called so the wild one so not green across the board doesn't matter um oh uh, results g-force is really good then so let's go for a ride on this one shall we So far, I would say that was my favourite ride at the park yet. The lift hill may have been a little bit on the slow side. Again, it just feels like it takes two weeks to get to the top. But besides that, the rest of the ride, just absolute perfection. 
kept up great momentum, really nice little moments of airtime. The banking all felt right. Nice little footprint. Yeah, my favourite ride of the park so far. I think that was absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed that one. So, let's hop out the exit. So, we've got three more rides to go on. One of which is another wooden coaster. So, let's hop out here. I like how the exit just comes over the ride. Now, normally, I would not like this. Under most normal circumstances, I would say the banking, like, outwards seems a little bit unrealistic and I would have banked it inwards instead. But I actually quite liked it. To be honest, I, I think it kind of gave it a little bit of charm, a little bit, a little bit of character as it went around so right so we've got another big wooden coaster here so let's walk up this queue path i like how it comes over the water here this is cool this is quite a nice queue path comes underneath the station as well look oh my days that's different i reserve judgment on that till we go on it shall we Looked a little bit extreme, but we'll see when we go on it. Alright. This is a popular ride. This is the most popular ride of the park so far. So, once again, nice, simple and effective station. So, what's this one called? So, the Twisted Colossus. Again, really nice name for the ride. So, we've got green across the board. G-forces. Yep, really good as well. So, let's go for a ride on this one. Once again, I'm just I'm just repeating myself. I'm just repeating myself. Um, great job, super smooth. Once again, I'm not sure about this first bit because I said about the other ride, and again gave it its own identity and characteristic. But the fact that then the same inversion happens on the ride right next to it, it almost detracts. I would have one of them banking in and one of them banking out just to make them feel different because it takes away the originality of it but the rest of the ride that bit really worked actually looking at it off board it didn't look like it worked but when you're on it yeah great job the rest of the ride a three week climb to the top I see that all getting longer as well first one was only a week we're up to three weeks climb now but yeah besides the really long climb up to the top the rest of the ride fantastic once again um, so gave some really nice shots of the park as well. Felt more like an experience ride in the way that you're going around the park quite a lot. So yeah, once again, great job. Really, really nice ride. I've really enjoyed going on all the rides in this spotlight. Because they have all felt unique as well. They have all felt different. With the exception of that first corner that I was just talking about. They have all felt unique as well. So we come down here, just over the water both sides. And we've got these last two coasters left. So there's the exit for that one. So let's just find the queue line. Let's come up here. Right. And here we go. 
Oh, this is different. Oh, right, okay. So what's this one called? So Deja Vu. It's green across the board. And the G-forces. So the G-forces on this one are quite high. So generally, you want to try and keep them under six where possible. Around 5.5 is the, kind of like the exit, like the mark that you really want to be aiming for. But anything under six is generally what you want to aim for. Uh, but let's go for a ride on this one. Enjoy. So, there we have Deja Vu. So, there we have Deja Vu. <laughs> Did you see what I did there? It was a good one, it? It's like the cat from The Matrix. Anyway. Um, yeah. For me, that was a ride of two halves. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to watch this go off board before I give any definitive feedback or opinions so come on the ride is fault why not going come on go 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 please go go oh come on speed up there you go right yeah i just want to watch it go off board hmm Right, so, yeah, for me, that was very much a ride of two halves. So, as it was going backwards, I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I like this. It felt very janky, it felt like it needed smoothing, but forwards, it, it seems okay. And for me, what I think the problem is, is this one bit here. It goes from flat up into the inversion way too quickly and i believe that's where the g-forces would be coming as well now i don't know if that is an in-game inversion or if that's a custom one if it's an in-game one then obviously smoothing it is going to be a lot more difficult so if it is an in-game one i would be tempted to replace that and and do that yourself manually and just so you're able to smooth that bit out because you've got to think that the main focus of this ride is the fact that it goes backwards and then forwards again so with that in mind that one little section here is probably the most important bit of the entire ride full stop because it's obviously where you're very first going into your inversions and that is the one bit of the ride for me that unfortunately does break the ride so yeah for that reason i'm sorry to say that is the weakest ride of the park so far i'm afraid i think if that bit was fixed i think it would be fantastic and the originality of it as well i think that's the first time i've been on one of these rides in a spotlight i think i might be wrong but certainly i can't remember going on a ride such as this so yeah that that definitely does need looking at i'm afraid but the rest of the ride was fine um the rest of the invasions were all good just that one little bit there so, anyway, we've got one last ride to go on, which is a wing coaster by the looks of it. So, let's have a walk down there. Oh, I love this. This canopy here with the scavola just underneath. I love that. Yeah, big fan of stuff like that. So, all right. So, a couple more in-game blueprints just again. And let's have a walk down this queue path. Now, wing coasters are one of the most difficult rides in the game to build. They are so tricky to build. So let's see how you've got on, shall we? Oh, I like the station with the openness as well. So what's this one called? 
So, Cloud Chase. Oh, nice name. I love the names of the rides in this park. You've had some really good names. So, we've got 6.1 excitement. The fear is a little bit low. Oh, never mind. But the G Force is all really good. Max speed is 72 miles an hour. So, quick ride this one. So, final ride of the park. Let's do it. Enjoy, everybody. So, the final ride of the park, Cloud Chaser. What a ride. Certainly one of the better rides in the park as well. Super smooth. Again, throughout, just a fantastic job. To be honest, I think it was absolutely brilliant. I like the fact that it interacts with the wooden coaster as well. I just thought that was an absolutely top class ride. So, there we go. All the rides are done. So, let's just have a look at the park as an overview and give some thoughts for the park don't worry i have not forgot the night view or the fireworks i'll be looking at them in the moment but thoughts of the park as a whole it's it's not the type of park that i would be looking at for like sheer beauty and and detail and things like that it's not that type of park so if i try and approach it in that manner it would be quite unfair to be like kind of well it doesn't look visually that pleasing maybe but for the actual ride quality i tell you what greg those are some of the best rides that i've been on in spotlights certainly probably the smoothest i think they were absolutely fantastic rides i thoroughly enjoyed them they all felt unique they all felt like they got their own identity with the exception of deja vu i enjoyed every single ride i think they were all done absolutely fantastic would i like to have seen more detail yes maybe more theming and things like that but I think sometimes in the in this game you need to play to your strengths and there are some who like doing their detailing but may not be as good as coasters or then you've got other people who are really good at coasters but maybe not so quite good at the theming i think you just need to play to your strengths and and your strengths are very much building coasters so yeah absolutely incredible work on the coasters but anyway let's have a look at this park at night shall we which has some really great lighting as well yeah lit up really tactfully it's not too overlit not underlit all the pathing is lit up exactly how it needs to be which is obviously the most important bit is the pathing yeah lit up really well there's a lot of obviously lights down the path as i was saying earlier on so maybe i don't know i was saying about reducing them but then it gives such a nice ambience as well so yeah maybe not reducing them i like the lighting of that ride there again just reminding me of wasp's nest just red instead of yellow lighting over here is really nice right 
so we need to try and go and find the best place to watch these fireworks let's just come over here really nice firework display as well something I've never done is fireworks oh wow And fireworks are a really nice way to end spotlights as well. That's a great firework display as well. Yep, great job, and what a perfect way to end the spotlight as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed the spotlight. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think as well. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. It really does help the channel out and helps me continue to grow. Um, if you would like your park spotlighted, then by all means let me know. I will get round to it. It may not be quick because I have so many to do, but I will get to it eventually, I promise. But thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. I will be back in a few days for another Planet Coaster Spotlight. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you in a few days. Bye, everybody.